morning internet and welcome to a house for Elisa 3 in the last video we ended up uh, finally getting rid of mr. Bob whether that be through putting him to sleep or through killing him outright from what I understand the true ending from that one is that we put him to sleep and we took his daughter home and are in love with her but that's the best that I can assume Anyway, let's get into it. Important notice. One, refrain from playing if you suffer from a heart condition or ep epilepsy. Ugh. Important notice two, there are 12 endings, but only one of them is a canon ending. If you get the canon ending, there is a post credit scene. God, he keeps amping it. Or the dev keeps amping it, I mean. Because <laughs> we went from there's, what was it, like six endings, seven endings, to nine endings, to now 12 endings. With the content warnings? Yeah. Warning, this game contains pixelated blood, pixelated violence, pixelated gore, disturbing themes such as imagery, jump scares, flashing lights. Big chested people, jiggly physics, tomato references, yes, tomato, not tobacco, sanity, swearing, human composition, uh, game made by the dev you can never remember, cave waifu, what is my name? This is the first time they've asked me what my name is. You can call me Mew. Voice acting. There's voice acting in here? Activate footsteps. Yeah, go for it. Choose a window color. My default color is blue. Auto run. Why? Music volume. And just leave the ball for now. Activate censorship mode. Activate ghost dog mode. A cute ghost puppy will follow you around everywhere. This puppy will have no relevance to the plot and will disappear during death animations. Yeah! Name the dog. <gasps> I'm gonna name you after my dog. Casper. This game already has so many better, so many great improvements compared to the other two. I'm already... Dog... Dog makes it from, like, 7 out of 10 to 10 out of 10. Cute ghostly... Activate ghost cat mode. Ghostly kitten will follow you around everywhere. The kitten will have no relevance. And the plot won't disappear during death animations. Sure, why not? I used to have a cat by the name of... Coco. laughs mode. You will hear random laughs in certain scenes. This may not be funny at all. This game may be extremely less serious. Um, you will hear random laughs at certain scenes. This may not be funny at all. Nah. Skip intro? No! Who are you? My name is Alyssa. You probably know about my ordeal with Mr. Bob. With the help of Zergata Katsua, I put Mr. Bob to sleep for 99 years. That 
cake though. I was able to save my girlfriend Greta. But in turn, I had to sacrifice my hearing. Holy crap, so I did choose the right ending at, at the end. Thankfully, some months later, I had an eardrum surgery. Wait, the danger god took your hearing and you're like, nah fam, I'm going to fix my hearing now. And now I'm able to hear again. That feels like cheating. That is adorable. Kawaii Desu. Greta and I have decided to move away from the city. I never realized that Greta had your had your love for cake. We found a nice house in a small rural town. That's where we're heading now. Looks like everything's ready. Y yes. Are you happy, Greta? I am. But what about you? Aren't you going to miss the city? Or your apartment? Not really? Those don't sound like footsteps. That sounds like the drum beat of clap, clap, clap. It was nice having an apartment. But I've had enough of the city. Come on, Greta. It sounds like you're stomping on a hardwood floor. Let's go to our new home. Y yes, I'm ready, Alyssa. Dude, I wasn't expecting this game to have its own soundtrack and everything. Like, this is awesome. The road to the town is blocked. Alyssa and Greta can, can't continue by car. Look, Alyssa! There's a path over there! It must lead to the town. I guess we should go to the town and ask someone for help. Why is there so much fog? First save of a new game. Oh my god. I have my own little party here. Animals on parade. You know, they really did a good job changing the sprite animation style from like 1 to 2, then 2 to 3. Especially 2 to 3. Alyssa has a whole different, like, demeanor to her in this style. What are you? You look like a ghostly axolotl. Every time I look at you, you vanish. We made it! It's the town! That does not look like a nice town. But where is everyone? It feels like a ghost town. It looks like Castlevania. 
Welcome. Thank you. Oh, great. It's the intro house. And it has nice squishes. Yo, okay. Oh, God. Who could have done this? Those scissors. Those wounds. I think I know who did this. Really? It was Marietta. Marietta? Marietta? Who is that? Don't you remember her? Mr. Bob's niece. No, I saw his sister. A big woman with a mask and a hat. Yes, she gave me the glasses of truth. Oh, wait. That was her, the lady who, um, who asked what time is it. But why would she be here? Why would she do this? But what if she knew we were coming? And maybe this is revenge for Mr. Bob. Killing the people of our new town. Maybe her presence explains the fog. And I bet it was her who blocked the road. Uh, Alessa, what are we going to do now? Calm down, Greta. If she's around, we'll have to stop her. That's right. She should be less powerful than Mr. Bob. That's the hope, at least. We can definitely defeat her. The skin of his arms have has been surgically removed. Hotel Key. Books by Franz Kafka. The one on top is the castle. It's very Kafka-esque. A tub. Why is it full of water? A sink. Why is it full of water? A toilet. That's expected to be filled with water, I would hope. Okay, so I guess I need to go into the hotel then. Marietta must be here. You're assuming. Why would she be in the hotel? Flashlight. Can be acted by from the menu or by this pressing might come Q. In handy. Yeah, it'll be handy right now. There's a note that reads, "Don't forget to turn on the hidden switch under the counter in the bar." Under the counter in the bar. Where's the bar? I guess this is the bar. The hidden switch under the counter in the bar. Hidden switch. Did you press it? Yes. It's broken. Cool. Made the mannequins go away. Oh no, they're just all there. Nah. I'm going upstairs. Later. Knob is broken. Nothing of interest. Not gonna make any commentary? That is a very realistic hidden switch. Would you like to press it? Yeah, I guess so. I didn't even know that was there. I just wanted to know about the very realistic looking painting in a, in a uh, horror game. Note that reads painting. Oh, hold on. A hole behind a painting. Message is written backwards. A hole behind a painting. What painting? This painting? No. The store is cursed. Only a holy rosary can lift the curse. I mean, it's only got eyes. It's not like it's the worst curse I've seen. Alright. Well, if that's as far as I can go upstairs, I gotta go this way. 
Okay, another hidden switch pushed, and another bunch of the, I guess, like, mannequin heads are gone. Holy rosary. Looks like I found that. There's nothing else this way, so... of the townsfolk. Those look a little bit more than just skeletons. Marietta, what have you done? Isn't it obvious? I've killed the citizens of this pathetic town. Why did you do it? Is this revenge for your uncle? Revenge for my uncle? Oh no. I never cared about him. He was annoying. Actually, I'm grateful that you put him to sleep for 99 years. You're not here for revenge? Then why are you here? What are you planning? I came to harvest humans for a ritual. A ritual to bring back my father. Your father? Oh no. Greta, who is Marietta's father? Her father is Mr. Alfred. He's Agarakata's eldest son. How dare you pronounce my father's name? Why this town? This town happens to have a strong spiritual connection with an ethereal plane linked to my father. My father has been sleeping for a long time, and I really miss him. My uncle didn't allow me to carry out this ritual since he hated my father. However, now that my uncle is asleep, I can do whatever I want. I want want my father back. He's going to make reality so much fun. I've collected enough offerings. I can begin the ritual now. been to a restaurant before. I... I... I don't want people to look at me and think I look strange. Because you're pale? People will always find something to criticize. Be it your appearance, your hobbies, or even the music you like. But it says more about them than you. I don't think people will make fun of you for being so pale. But if they do, just ignore them. Despite everything you went through, you're a beautiful person, Greta, with a beautiful heart. And if they mock you, they won't have to answer to me. No one will make fun of my girlfriend. Th thank you, Alista. What happened? Where am I? Where is Greta? You look like you're in an unfinished room. Why are you in a complete, like, white bodysuit? Why body am I suit? wearing this white uniform? That's what I'm asking. Ah, Alyssa, you're already awake. Who are you? Oh, another hallucinatory episode? I... 
in Dr. Salometi, your psychiatrist. What? This is your cell. We are in Justine Asylum for the Criminally Insane. Why? What? Why am I here? Alisa, you have been a patient here for 20 years. Don't you remember? You killed your parents and blamed it on an imaginary monster called Mr. Bob. In order to deal with your guilt and trauma, you created a whole reality inside your mind. Wait, what? Hold on, time out. Is this true? A reality where you are a social worker who battles demonic entities. If it is, it explains a lot. No, you're lying! Where is Greta? Alessa, Greta was just a doll you had when you were a child. She's not real. For some reason, you imagined her as a pale young woman who is very close to you. But that is nonsense. It has to stop. Greta is not real. Mr. Bob is not real. You're not a social worker. You're just a very troubled woman. No, I don't believe you. I bet you're Mr. Bob who has come back. Ah, <sighs> denial phase again. I guess we will have to do this the hard way. Nurse Helga, bring the tranquilizer. What the hell, man? In any case, what's going on? Oh, you're awake. Good. Oh, God. Who are you? Oh, come on, Alyssa. Don't you remember me? I'm Nurse Helga. No, I don't remember you. And what's wrong with your face? My face? What do you mean? There's nothing wrong with my face. You're related to Mr. Bob, aren't you? I knew it. This is another one of his tricks. Oh dear, the Mr. Bob paranoia again? What is this place? What am I doing here? It's the recreation room. The other patients have a lot of fun here. Patients? Those are mannequins. Mannequins? Do they look like mannequins to you? They don't look like mannequins. They are mannequins. Can't you see? They don't even move. Blah, blah, blah. Go have some fun. Your surgery will be in an hour. Surgery? What surgery? Your lobotomy, of course. Oh. I don't need a lobotomy. I'm perfectly fine. Why are you just shrugging off the word lobotomy? Oh, yeah. Sure. That's why you see people as mannequins. I need to put out, out, out. Why did you just shrug off the word lobotomy? No, turn the music back on. The clock, it's not working. A very creepy doll. Alyssa, I hope you had fun. It's time for your surgery. What? No, I don't need surgery. Of course you do. Trust me, I'm a highly trained professional. Where should I do it? Surgery time! You'll feel so much better after your surgery. Oh! Oh! Ending one of twelve, lobotomy. God damn, okay. No rest for the wicked, I guess. Okay, we're back here again. So, can I just peel out of here? Don't even think about it or I'll have to remove your legs. Remove my legs? What nurse mentions that? Wait, wait, if I do it again, will she? Don't even think about it or- Ah, damn it. Okay, fine. So, I guess, creepy doll, and then she runs Alyssa, over. I hope you had fun. It's time for your surgery. No, I don't need surgery. Of course you do. Trust me, I'm a highly trained professional. Where should I do it?
try and escape. Bolt for it. I need to get out of here. Run for it. <laughs> <laughs> what even is that? Is that on a grill? <laughs> Sorry, lady, not interested. I've already gotten to see my what my eyes look like in the color of derpy. <laughs> Congratulations, you got Alyssa killed and now Greta is crying. Wow, thanks for hurting my feelings. Back at it. <laughs> Down. <laughs> now I'm broken. <laughs> nope. Dead no. Oops, my bad. Oh, you suck. It's surgery time. <laughs> suddenly a table but she can't climb high with that now rise. it's my chance to escape mannequin it's not alive can i push it off why would there be a mannequin up here nice parkour skills wait is that the same mannequin that's weird Dishwasher. I can talk about the doll. Food seems to be rotten. Smells awful. Don't have the flashlight still. But now I do. It can be activated from the menu you're pressing Q. Is she behind me? Yes, she is. <laughs> you again? Found you. <laughs> nope. Also, how did she cut through the wall with that? Again, it's not a drill. Come on, dog. Cat. We're going on a psychosis adventure. <laughs> nope. 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 I know that trick. That trick came from another game the dub just recently dropped. <laughs> nope, not allowing it. Uh -uh. Dev tried that game in uh, another game I haven't had a chance to play yet. Oh. I can't hide under the table. I can hide under the table? Why would you hide under the table? Come out, Alyssa. Nurse Helga is here. Damn, you got some cake too. It's okay, I'll find you eventually. <laughs> I can't believe it worked. I guess she's not very bright. Alright, I guess I'm going this way, because I'm not going up to meet her. That's for sure. Staff only. Well, not today. Back there. Oh, exit. The angels share. The angels are coming for you. Can you hear them whistle? Can you hear them sing? Dance and prance, my friend. Dance and prance. I 
and die. Dance and prance and die. What is that supposed to mean? Also, this game is very, or at least this map, this, I guess, hospital? This hospital is very, very Silent hill ass. What the fuck are you guys? No reply. A cracked mirror. Cell one. Yesterday I saw something outside the asylum. A giant worm with the head of an old man. He was barking. You... Looks like you climbed up there. Cell two. A giant centipede lives in this asylum. He possesses one of the doctors. No reply. Very creepy doll. Cell three. There's just a chair in here. And a bench. Is there nothing useful? Hate that sound. Surgery room. Of course it is. Bad idea. No shit. I'm going in the morgue. I'm getting out of here. This that that makes me uncomfortable. There used to be a door here. It's gone forever now. Is it red light, green light? Red light, green light. Normally I want to see how it's going to kill me, but I really don't... I haven't saved in a while. I don't know when I'll get to save. Holy rosary. So I really don't want to have these things kill me. Now it was broken. Of course it is. I'm just going to assume that anything with a white hanger on it means I can't open it. Nope. Let's go. Let's go on an adventure. Let's go on an adventure. Just me and my ghost cat and dog. And then I have to go to the right and uncurse that door. The skull. Um, syringe. Alessa, where have you been? Around. Your surgery is about to begin. Let me out of this place. You can't fool me. You're not a doctor. You're right. I'm more than a doctor. I'm an angel. A savior. And salvation means insanity. Alyssa, it is time you embrace insanity and leave your worries behind. I guess I have to defeat the abomination. I can use the syringe to attack him. How to attack. Get close to the boss and press the action confirmation key. Okay. Interesting boss fight mechanics. Oops. Didn't mean to do that one. Oops. Oh, come on. I didn't get a chance to save. Fuck. So this may be a bad time to have realized this, but I just realized that there's no typewriters and I actually have to save through the menu. That is something that I wish I knew 
before I had to go back through the gauntlet of dealing with the nurse and then also having to get the rosaries to be able to purify the door to the boss fight. But hey, every once in a while we gotta learn. Alessa, where have you been? Your surgery is about to begin. Let me out of this place. You can't fool me. You're not a doctor. You're right. I'm more than a doctor. I'm an angel, a savior, a god. And salvation means insanity. Alyssa, it is time you embrace insanity and leave your worries behind. I guess I have to defeat this abomination. I can use this array to attack them. Nope. I just realized the blood stains on the floor. Tell me where that saw is gonna go. Tells me at least where that saw can go. Should have went for No chances. Salmonetti has been defeated. Okay, what does that do for me? Formal suit. You can alternate between outfits. Just choose the outfit you want to wear in the My items suit. menu. Now I can finally stop wearing this patient uniform. <laughs> I wasn't expecting her to actually do that. I need to find Greta. I wasn't expecting Alyssa shake your cake. So many faces looking at the same problem. Only those who look at a different solution will show will show you the way. Looking at the same problem. Only one facing around the What? What? What are you? I guess thanks for eating me? Alright, gotta try this one again. I'm not sure I fully get it though. I hate you. Wait, what? I still don't understand what that means. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So... So many faces looking at the same problem, only those who look at a different solution will show you the way. The barking snake guy. Oh, okay, okay. I get it now. Looking the opposite direction as everybody else. Now I get it. this way. Well, 
Lots of dolls and clocks here. Not that I know what to think about that, necessarily. Some people weren't changed. These people are special. They are the chosen ones. I heard they're gathered somewhere planning to save reality. Me, on the other hand, I was turned into this pile of books. <laughs> A hole. Would you like to jump down? Not yet. Hold on. All right, I'm ready to go down the rabbit hole. Yes. Okay. I need to get out of here. All right, I guess I'll follow the blood trail then. Don't have a password for this. Who are you? Would you like to play a game with me? If you win, I'll show you something amazing. Yeah, I'll play. Okay, let's play. Great. I will draw something and you have to guess what it is. Here we go. Recognition is case sensitive. First drawing. Duck. I think the developer ended up um, making the puzzle a lot easier. Water. Wait, what? Something, something, a... What? Something, something... By the way, what do you think about my art? You know what? I want to be your girlfriend. I fall in love with you and your art. I want to be your girlfriend. Really? I can't believe this. I have found my muse. We are lovers now. Lisa and the Cave Abomination started a relationship. Cave Abomination became so inspired by his new muse, he created some impressive paintings that made him famous. Eventually, Lisa and the Cave, de uh, Cave Abomination got married. It was the worst wedding party ever. The cake smelled like ass. <laughs> Ending 2 of 12, muse. I love it. How about move aside, Picasso? There's a you are disgusting. Pretend to throw up. Pretend to throw up. How dare you? You're an awful person. You don't deserve to live. Ah! It's gonna rip my head off. He just snaps my neck while crying. <laughs> 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 
move aside, Picasso. There's a new king in move town. Move aside, Picasso. There's a new king in town. I have to go now. By the way, check out the message behind me. 1484. 1484. Hey! Ugh. That's Bob, alright. Picture of Mr. Bob. Um, hi, Mr. Tree. I don't trust you, but I'm gonna save because I'm out here for all the deaths in the world here, so, uh... Hello there, mademoiselle. A talking tree? The name's Ferdinand. Nice to make your acquaintance. Um, do you know how to get out of this cave? Cave? What do you mean? This is a beautiful forest. You're insane. No, it isn't. This is a cave. Are you an expert on caves? Um, not really. How can you claim that this is a cave if you're not an expert on the subject? Me, on the other hand, I'm an expert on forests. You're a really bad expert. I can assure you that this is a forest. Trust me, I'm an expert. I've read a lot about forests on the internet. So, you believe everything you read on the internet? I would assume yes. Also, reading about something on the internet doesn't make you an expert on the topic. Are you an expert on the internet? I could be. Um, not really. Then your claims mean nothing. My word matters, yours doesn't. Tell me, is there a way out of this forest? Forest? How do you know it's a forest? Are you an expert on forests? You just called it a forest. I'm just wait, 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 wait. I'm Yeah, forget this. The tree's dumb. Who are you? Something happened in Ferdinand's room. Oh God, Ferdinand! Ferdinand is dead. Ferdinand's key. You also found another item. Yggdrasil bomb. I took care of that annoying tree for you. Have a nice journey, G. What is G? Also, what is Yggdrasil bomb? What? Yeah, what? Allows you to change the window color. Cool. Neat. Bomb. What? What is Yggdrasil bomb? See, see in the dark. Okay, okay, I'm just, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. It's locked. And it's not necessarily locked. It's just, it did it serve its purpose. Talking fish on the wall. On that day, everything changed, but what changes doesn't make any sense. Then again, what do you expect? What do we expect coherence from? An ancient interdimensional horror? Very uber meta. Hey, worm face. You're gross. I don't like the noises you make. A very creepy doll. Open with Ferdinand's key. Who are you people? Tea party, tea party. 
Would you like to stay in the tea party forever? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Lisa stayed in the tea party forever and she... She and the creepy shadow dolls danced 24-7. Eventually, Lisa's triangle feet got infected and they got filled with worms and fly eggs. Do you like tea? I mean, three out of 12, tea party. Thanks about that. All right, yeah, let's not stay with the creepy doll shadow ladies. I'm going this way. What are, do you have a really, yeah, you have a really tiny me face. Me strong, me waifu, me pretty, me kawaii. Wait, wait, wait. Cool. Me strong. Me waifu. Me. Oh, I can't do anything with the caveman, the kawaii caveman. Me strong. The, ca me wa the cave waifu. I want something with the cave waifu, man. Sussy's gallery. The alpha. What is it? The manliest savior. The dude who protects pumpkins. The forever girl who has trouble with... Yeah, I have trouble with his name as well. The undead avian. Oh no! The archangel who fears mannequins. A samurai with fluffy ears. Path. The Gamer Fairy. Brave souls who have played my games. Reserved for- Hey, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Hi, Alyssa. Are you enjoying my statues? Always. Aunt Susie? What are you doing here? Making statues, of course. That's all I care about. Uh Wait, 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 wait. What a huge cake. Cake? What do you mean? <laughs> Your ass is huge. I thought my ass was big, but it pales in comparison to yours. <laughs> Alyssa, please mind your manners. The A word is offensive. I disagree. I'm proud of my ass. You go, girl. <laughs> Hi, Alyssa. Are you Aunt wait, wait, making wait. Uh, Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Please turn me into a statue. A statue? You want to be a statue? I've been, I've been a lamp. I've been a house. Turn me into a statue. Please, please turn me into a statue. What a marvelous idea. Who wouldn't want to be a statue? <laughs> Oh, come on. But the thing is, you took the thing that was so glorious about her, which was her fucking bootalicious butthole. Thus, Alyssa fulfilled her dream of becoming a statue. You took her glorious ass. Ending 4 out of 12, statue. God damn it. To be completely honest, other than you taking her ass when turning into a statue, a statue, statue, Stat statue. Your They're amazing. Statues are amazing. Oh, thank you, Alyssa. You're so sweet. What's behind this door? Books. Two philosophers confronting each other. Two avians followed the eastern light. Two sisters ran away in secret. Or ran away scared. This room 
thing smells like ass. <laughs> I've witnessed many civilizations fall. Still, somehow, I'm always allowed to continue working on my art. The smell of cake is coming from inside. Susie's tools. Susie's tools. Why does Susie's room smell like ass? Hi, Alyssa. Aren't making s- uh... What's going on? What's going on? What happened to the world? Uh, I'm afraid I can't answer that. Or he will. Who? Who is he? You heard his name before, but you probably don't remember. Okay. Alright. Hey, I'm not gonna tell you anything else. You've been nice to me this entire time. Two philosophers confronted each other. Two avians followed the eastern light. Two sisters ran away scared. confront each other. These are the philosophers. Two sisters ran away scared. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Tryptophobia. The fear of holes. Is that a warning? Wait. Um, what's with the Terminator? Baragon. Who's Baragon? What's two plus two? Four. It's 100 times zero. Zero. Thank God, I usually suck at math. Tryptophobia, the fear of. Holes. give it to me before oh god another one who has the biggest ass in the world yeah Susie's is bigger <laughs> I knew it <laughs> It looks like a pier. Um. You are born. Okay. You are assigned a name. Yes. You are forced to live with your family. Yes. You are forced to study. 
What, I, what is the point of you telling me all this? You are forced to learn. You grow up. Yeah. You fulfill the rogue society expects you to fulfill. Or you fail to do so. Hey, man. I have fulfilled some... I'm, I'm still fulfilling some kind of rules to society. As possible as I possibly can. As much as I possibly can. I bust my ass to not only work two jobs, but then to also make sure that I can try to put smiles on the faces of people I don't, have, I don't think... I, I don't know if I'll ever meet. But I'll try my damnedest to do so. What about it? You break the new shrine. Then you break again. Then you perish. Wow, thank you for explaining the meaning of life. Then the cycle begins anew. Is it worth I mean, otherwise, like, is there really a, is it really worth living a life if you can't find, try, like, fight to try to find meaning in that life? Personally, and it's one of the things that I kind of looked into or, or thought about when playing the last video on Slay the Princess, which was like, without death. Is there really a reason to live? Do you have a dream? Is it feasible? Or do you prefer not to achieve it? Very creepy doll. Very creepy doll. Oh god. Dolls on parade. Shinobi outfit. Holy crap. Excuse me for a second. They'll never see me coming, but for the clap of my ass. And that's how you sneak past a bunch of creepy dolls. They'll never hear me. Or you'll never see me, but you'll hear the clap of the ass before you get a chance to... Before the sudden destruction. The sudden death. The owner of these dolls is a pretty scary woman. This room smells like ass. Oh, hey, brought me back here. Yeah, this is, um... Oh, so the fridge is the new mirror now. But yeah, this is Susie's room. Hey, Susie. Which means that just past here and over here. Wait, no. No, I'm missing the whole point. The the rosary room is literally in Susie's room. I'm being dumb. Again. Man, it's actually dark in here. I was, I for for a second there, I thought that like this entire time I've been using the uh, flashlight unneededly. It's dark everywhere. I kind of wanted to, I kind of wanted to see because I don't know if it's just a trick of my eyes or the flashlight. But I think that, um, currently she's a little semi-transparent. Alright, looks like we got a boss fight. This will be interesting. Is it the worm guy? Lion crawled from a bleeding hellish hole and then turned into a giant bearded man. Whoa. Is your ass hairy too?
What am I supposed to do to you? What am I supposed to do to fight you? Okay, he just stepped on me. Good to know. Beardy got lucky. Let's try this again. So he's got he's got two attacks and then he comes close. That's assuming I have to attack him. Is your ass? Scream is funny though. At least I think so. And then you're gonna ram into the dock. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, okay, interesting. I hope you were one of them. God, that was awful. You look like somebody filled a man's body, a flesh sack full of meatloaf. Shinobi. Hit you with my boots. And you're gone. Our bus has been defeated. <laughs> Cave waifu, what do you have to say? Me strong, me waifu, me pretty, me kawaii. You are kawaii. You are pretty. Wait, before I go any further, save. Let's go. Two worlds merged. A world of hate, greed, and uncertainty, ours, and a world of horror, insanity, and nightmares, theirs. Would you like to be worshipped forever? Oh, you fucking know it. Worship me forever. That's right, you peasants. Worship me forever. And so Alyssa was worshipped forever. She forgot about Greta and she embraced an eternity of maximum vanity. Her worshippers brought her everything she wanted. And they, com and they complimented her 24-7. Some of them went bankrupt. But they still continued worshipping Elisa. Soon, Elisa wasn't even able to go to the bathroom alone without her worshippers following her everywhere. She was worshipped. Even when taking a dump. <laughs> What's more, her turds became valuable collectibles for her worshippers. They fought themselves to death for these collectible turds. But Lisa didn't even care. She only cared about compliments, about being spoiled, about being worshipped as the goddess of cake. 
Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you for being Alyssa. <laughs> oh my god. Ending 5 of 12, worship. I love it. Okay. Being worshipped was fun and all, but man, I really... I gotta keep going. Sorry, guy. I wish you could worship me forever. I'm glad you guys fought over my poo. <laughs> the goddess of cake commends you. from running if you're dummy thick as the mannequins do not appreciate the sound of ass cheeks clapping will do just gonna save here just in case that almost caused me a problem i'm gonna just save here just in case you never know just gonna walk nice and calmly here Suit. Remember, you can alternate between outfits. Hell yeah! Show me the swimsuit. Swimsuit. I like the heart-shaped pattern in the center. And that's not even me trying to like. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. We're going back. The swimsuit was nice until it got overly sexualized. Sorry, I'm going back to the shinobi outfit. I don't know how much partial nudity that... I don't know how much partial nudity that YouTube will let me get away with. Why does this have so many tomatoes? I bet the author has a fetish with tomatoes. Such a creep. I know everything about him just by looking at his art. It's revolting. A disguised fetish. I don't like tomatoes, but I still came to see this and complain. I actually like that painting. But I guess everyone's entitled to their opinion. Although some opinions are barely discussed hate. Okay. Wait, what? Are they- Oh yeah, it's a bunch of lizard people worshipping a coffee maker. <laughs> That's a mannequin. Time to walk very calmly. What? Um... The mannequin stole the doll's head. Okay. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Yeah! Have another chance to save. Have another chance to save. Don't feel like dealing with you. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You will not catch this shinobi. this shinobi not today that was close yeah it was and now i'm going to save all right cool she has three generals a marionette maker 
the cannibal ghost, and finally his heir, the princess of hats and scissors. Workout outfit. How's the workout outfit? Nope. That is also not very, you know, great. Sticking with the shinobi outfit. Sticking with the shinobi outfit. The goddess of cake can only show off her cake to her subjects. Wait, what's the... Not gonna tell me? Also, very technical are here. Elisa, you must come with me. The galaxy needs you. Go with the alien. Go with the alien. <laughs> this is an ending. So glad we went on intergalactic adventures. So happy we managed to be able to do that one. Sorry, Mr. Alien. I have no time for intergalactic adventures and asteroid death. What if I die tomorrow? How will I be remembered? Uh, I, as the die who, the guy who died. I guess. I mean, you'll have an obituary, probably. Obits are a thing. It's not like your life will be meaningless, per se. There's still people who know you. Something open. Sorry, Mr. Alien, I can't join you. Just wanted to see if something opened in your room. Nope, this way. More blood. What was that? Not gonna talk about the insects? All right, fine. What are you? Oh, God. What is that thing? It's disgusting. Agreed. Survive. Don't, don't you kill me. I've come too far. Nope. 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 Side her ass isn't weighing her down. Phantom outfit. Phantom? Finally, something a bit more my style. I've been dead for so many years. Me and my dog and my cat are all dead. You can't save in this room. Okay, then I'll save outside of it. Because that means to not trust that room. Oh, God, it's one of these rooms. Okay, so... That, 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 that. Down, down, up. Up here, 
here. Push that that way, that that way, that this way, that that way. Bring this down, and we're good. Something open. Thank God. Please don't send a chase sequence into here, because that would be a pain in the ass. There we go. Okay. Something opened. I don't know about you, but numbers look like things to me. One thing... One looks like a thin and lonely man. Two looks like a swan. Three looks like a bow. Four looks like a ballerina. Five looks like a chair. Six looks like a man waving. Seven looks like a ghost. Eight looks like a coiled snake. Nine looks like a snail. Oh god, this is for a puzzle later, ain't it? Lovely. Alright, well, something else opened, so I'm guessing the upstairs. Yep. Oh boy. Okay, so... Once upon a time, there was a one, nine, four, seven. One, nine, four, seven. One, nine, four, seven. Got that real quick. That was actually easier than I expected. Don't trust this. Who are you? Huh? Who are you? You don't look like a monster. If you made it this far, then I guess you already dealt with monsters in the past. That's right. My name is Alyssa. I've had to deal with a very twisted demon and his family. What about you? My name's Alex. Last year, I got involved in something called the Sack of Ashira game. I had to battle demons and horrors along with other five people. In the end, I was the only survivor. Just when I was getting my life together, something happened. The world changed with no explanation at all. Yes, it's like someone warped reality. It seems those who have dealt with paranormal entities or events in the past were not affected by the reality warping event. We need to do something. Also, I'm looking for my girlfriend. I need to find her. Okay, Alyssa, calm down. First, we need some answers. Apparently, others like us are gathered in a building to the east of here. We need to find them. Yes, they could have some answers. We shall travel together. What do you say? That's a good idea. No, you're related to Mr. Bob. Um, let's go with that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay, let's go then. Lead the way. Alex, join the party. Cool. All right. Nice hops. Ball costume. What do you mean by ball? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I am the almighty orb. None shall challenge me. The buildings are crumbling. It's like the whole city slowly cracking. And the almighty orb. We can only go past them when they are not looking. Okay. Ghost. 
almost. Thank this guy for making this area more difficult. Oh, come on. later they found his corpse the face had been removed and turned into a mask wait that's what happened at the beginning of the house for lisa 2 so the guy the guy that was in the warehouse literally was named rob Determined to eliminate evil animatronics. What? Food seems to be rotten. Smells awful. Okay. Being attacked by a painting. should be able to go back past these eyes and then down these stairs. All the candles? Better it be a holy candle than what I thought it was, which I thought we were getting known. It's a holy candle. Maybe the people we're looking for are here. Most likely. Let's go inside. Must be the people we've been looking for. You must be the Jason Mom's ghost. You weren't affected by the reality warp. You weren't affected by the reality warp either? By the way, my name's Marion. Hey, I'm Sandy. Nice to meet you. And I am Mia, or at least that's the name I've been using for a century. Wait a moment, you're a vampire? Yes, that's right. I was cursed and became a vampire after using a jewel, but don't worry. I don't feed on good people, only bad ones. So who put those candles out there? It was me. Do you know what's happening? Reality has changed by a very powerful entity. Dad did a cut so? No. His eldest son, Mr. Alfred. Oh, wait! Now I remember. That's Marietta's father. I bet he's the one who took Greta. Is he really that powerful? It seems so. Mr. Alfred is Zither Katzel's most powerful creation. He was so powerful and sadistic that Zither Katzel decided to put him to sleep from all of eternity. However, he has been awakened. Someone found a way to do it. It was his daughter, Marietta. I see. Yes, I know her. Well, not as powerful as her father. She's still very dangerous. Is there a way to save reality? To save the world? To defeat Mr. Alfred? There might be a way. You see, Zerga Katzel not only created negative entities, he also created a very kind entity who resembled a bunny. A leaf. A leaf? And she looks like a bunny? She was also very powerful and could help us. However, she's also asleep. How can we wake her up? We need to perform a ritual. We will need some Yagasil balm. Wait, 
I have some Yuzo so bomb. What? Really? We can begin the ritual now. It worked! It's her! That's Ella. She's so cute. I'm awake again. Thank you. Your brother, Mr. Alfred, has brought reality. The world is a mess because of him. Can you help us to stop him? Oh, my older brother did that? I'm so sorry. I'm afraid I'm still too weak from my slumber, and I can't fully appear in your world. Allah, we have dealt with demons and paranormal stuff in the past, so we aren't affected by the reality warp. We probably can reach Mr. Alfred, but we need your help. Where can we find him? Give me a second. Yes, I found him. He created a house for himself, a house of horrors. Is my girlfriend Greta there? Yes, I'm afraid so. He took her. Is there a way to defeat him? He can't be defeated, but he can be weakened and put to sleep. Here, take this amulet. If you manage to put this amulet in his neck, he will go back to sleep. I'm afraid it's the only way. Also, I can only send one person to his location. Only one of you can go there. I was afraid that would be the case. I'll do it. I'll put an end to this. Are you sure about this? I'm completely sure about this. I need to go. I also need to rescue my girlfriend. I wish we could do something else to help. It's okay. You guys helped me with the ritual, and that's enough for me. Would you like to go now? Yes. Please take me there. Good luck, Alyssa. You could do it. Alyssa, I wish we could go and help you, but we have faith in you. We'll be rooting for you. After you defeat him, we shall throw a party to celebrate. I sense a strong courage and determination in you. I know you can do it. It's done, Melissa. Thank you, guys. We'll meet again. This must be the place. This path must lead to Mr. Alfred's house. Why are demonic entities so obsessed with houses? I keep asking myself that question every time I play a Resident Evil game. Anyways, this bastard has Greta, and he ruined the world. He'll definitely pay for that. Cool. Alright, let us finish this. <laughs> Why are you looking at me, guy? I'm just a ball. Yeah, I'm just a ball. Eyeballs. Okay, so that's the exit. So I can't go to the exit, but I gotta go this way. Soap Mama. Soap Mama. You know what? I'll allow this. Honestly, as much as I like the ball outfit, I'll allow this. Because it actually covers up most of the partial nudity. Let's go. You have 30 seconds to reach the end of this hallway. If you don't reach it in time, we'll remove your limbs. Damn you, what? you little bearded bastards. <laughs> what is with the gnomes? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh piss. Come on. Hey! Screw you, gnomes. Tomato costume. Wait, tomato? You know what? Yeah, this is, this is how my day is going to go. 
I keep changing outfits because I keep finding a funnier outfit, but I like this more than the ball outfit. Let's go, tomato. <laughs> What the? Snail babies. I got eaten by snail babies. Not what I was expecting. Okay. Here we are again on the level. All I can think of while in the tomato costume is the- Oh my god! I'm a tomato! From like, uh, Adam West. warping. Nice. Glad the world is breaking around me. Can we fix that? Can we stop that? Greta? Something's not right. Approach her. Of course she's not real. Damn it. Alyssa, you are such a No, I'm a tomato. because of you. What have you done with Greta? Give her back. I'm grateful, Alyssa. Every choice you made led to this moment's moment. In the end, it was you who allowed me to be free again. That's why I have allowed you to leave me. What do you want? I will feel this universe with horror. But first, I need to get rid of the one who created me. Sakura Batsano, do you know why he put me to sleep forever? Because you're too sadistic? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a yes to me, Captain. You really think that they take care about sadistic? He put me to sleep because he feared me. I was bound to be more powerful than he was. Now I will make him pay. The lower is the key to reaching Sarah that solves Lambo's wrong. No! Greta! What are you gonna do to her? I simply use her in a ritual so I can reach Sarah that Sala and destroy his horror and destroy him. It was fun talking to you, but I'm afraid I had to go. So much to do. No! Wait! Don't run, you coward! I'm not running. I'm always here. Feel free to stick, stick around. I'm sure my associates will be happy to meet her. What's this place? This doesn't make any sense. I need to find Greta and stop this pale bastard. 
you're calling him a pale bastard when you literally know that Greta is also super pale. <laughs> To Mr. Alfred's house. Just a tomato on a magical quest. Queen cake tomato. Queen tomato pie. Man, you turn night real quick. This must be Alfred's house. I better be careful. Nah, don't think I will. First things first. Save. Save. No, not exit, not exit, not exit. Exit. Yep. Okay. Now. Human leg. Human leg. Human torso. Human arm. Human arm. And then up top might be human head. But before I get the head. Ahead of myself, ironically enough. I'm gonna check this first. In this house, we believe in supremacy of cakes. Good to know. Mr. Alfred's basement. Human arm. What? Their gazes will lead the way. Can you count on them? Oh, okay. How many are facing the left one? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three. Yeah, how about no? Blocked off. So I go this way. what I thought. Don't, don't trust it, don't trust it, don't trust it, don't trust it. Supremacy of cake! Cha! And then wait for it to go by. Dummy, that doll's got dummy thicker feet than it does a butt. That's besides the point. What? No, 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 I don't feel like witnessing this death. I literally have not saved yet. Plus, I know what an Iron Maiden does, so I'm going to keep my tomato pulp inside of me. I read juicy tomato flesh. Cool. Bronze key. Awesome. Now it's just like every other house for Elisa. Give it a quick save. Cool. A lot of hands. 
squishy, squishy hands. Can you stop watching me, guy? No! I know where you go. Nope, don't need to go that way. So I've explored the entirety of the basement. Let's go give that skeleton guy meat. took my tomato! This is what happens when you get real greedy. You forget to check one thing you really should have. Yeah, you can't do shit. Don't like how quiet it is here. I actually, uh, <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, I really hate it, considering these things are like a, you know, one-shot kill situation. Trust it. Gonna save real quick. Now I'll go. Okay, 
I'm not gonna lie, I was holding my breath there. Um, kind of expected them to kill me off there. Oh well, glad they didn't. I can't go anywhere else until I get to Gold Key, so I need the Rosary. Marionette Maker. Phantasmal Cannibal. Princess of Hat and Scissors. I only have one, no, two Holy Rosaries. I have two Holy Rosaries. Okay. So maybe I can do something about this. I guess I gotta go up against three bosses. Blade. Cool. I have a way to fight. I can see. I can fight. Very awesome. Alyssa, who invited you? Don't you dare interfere with my father's plans. How did you get in my domain? It doesn't matter. Soon, existence itself will be nothing but pure horror. Can't you see, Alyssa? You live in a world full of lies that constantly seeks perfection. A world that's supposed to be happy, but it isn't. Nothing compares to the beauty of horror. If you get rid of those lies, of those layers, then you get nothing but empty vessels. But if you embrace horror, then you become something else. And do you know what's below horror? True perfection. Because there's nothing more perfect than true horror. Really? Time to die, Elsa. I can't, I can't wait to pierce your eyeballs with my rusty scissors. <laughs> I literally asked you a question, because maybe you could have converted me to, you know, a horror demon. <laughs> my hat, I guess? Hold on. Alright, last hit, finally. This was a long fight. I don't Damn know what triggered her to spawn. Damn you too! No. This can't be possible. I'm the daughter of a DA. And you're just a stupid human. Oh, please. I don't want to die. all three of you would be able to get to what's his face anyway so Geppetto <laughs> what
Wait a minute. I don't think I did my homework. Is this the same developer that made that Pinocchio horror game? What even did you do to me? I don't even know what that ha what that did. Let's go back to Pedo's Manor. <laughs> I wondered why the art style for Alyssa in this game looked so familiar. Knob is broken. Of course it is. Alright, if at first you don't succeed, try the stairs. of it. Mia Geppetto's bra. Why? Also, yes, that definitely confirms my suspicions. Oh, shit. Excuse me, doll even anything in here worth taking or worth trying to get. Why did I come here? I guess I'm just, there's one left place to go, which is, I guess is this way? Not that way. Here we go. To the workshop. Geppetto's workshop. room. Holy crap. They, it's literally the entire map from Pinocchio. The Pinocchio game. Holy frying pan. I guess this is where the boss fight will take place. Quick, uh, quick save, quick save, quick save. Holy frying pan. <laughs> Hey, Pinocchio. Yeah, why are you? That's Pinocchio. I am Pinocchio. I don't want to come with you. <laughs> what should I do? What should I do? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Give him the bra. Stepsister's bra. He becomes really happy and runs away. That was what I needed, was the bra, specifically to give him the bra. Alright, fine. I thought I was going to get killed in a fun way, but that's fine. I'm going this way. <laughs> it's cuddle time. Yeah, so... Didn't know he was that this specific developer also developed that Pinocchio game. I need to do more research next time. What a huge cake! Oh my God, that's what that is. I didn't think that was a butt. I thought that was like a dress. I am a Leonardo Gibetto. Gibetto. Geppetto, why do you have that much ass? Geppetto? More like big ass pedo. <laughs> Am I right? God you dare invite me away. away. No one will, will interfere, interfere with Mr. Alfred. Alfred. I will. He'll allow me to achieve my dreams. dreams. He has already, already given me given these no powers. powers. Time to turn you into a very merry man. How about now? <laughs> okay, so he goes in S's. <laughs> oh, Damn it! Yep, he does turn you into a merry man. 
Though, uh, the eye holes and mouth hole does not line up for my, uh, my great, great tomato costume. Wait, since we're back here, I kind of want to do this. <laughs> Run, tell me disgusting. It's cuddle okay, time. Okay, I'll cuddle with you. It's cuddle time. <laughs> Alyssa gave Pinocchio a very nice hug. Then they began talking about literature and films. Eventually, they became good friends. Lisa soon realized she felt attracted to the handsome 100-year-old possessed evil marionette. Pinocchio also had feelings for Lisa. They confessed, each other, they confessed to each other, and so they began a relationship. Then two months later, they got married and lived happily ever after for two weeks. Then they got divorced. Overcome with sadness, Lisa decided to become an internet critic. And in 9 of 12, Lisa loved Pinocchio. <laughs> Not where I expected it to go, at least with the internet credit thing. That took longer than I'd like to admit. Now. Geppetto has been defeated. I can't believe it has to end that every time with that. Sadly, when it ends up doing it that much, it's starting to lose its luster, honestly. Three generals shall guard the entrance to Mr. Alfred's domain. Well, they're almost, you know, no generals. That being said, I'm still missing a book. Mr. Bob, would you like to wake up? Yes? Wait, it was all Mr. Bob's dream? Oh my, what a dream. I was a lesser and I was looking for grit. Oh, look at me, it's, it's my toy house. I was going to gift it to Alyssa. A house for Alyssa. <laughs> God damn it. Too bad. She's probably been really dead now. It's been 99 years. <laughs> being evil for so long has become a big boy. Maybe I should be a good guy now. <laughs> yes, that's it. I will help humanity. Good on you. I start by liking posts on social networks. Yeah, do it. That will surely help humanity. <laughs> hey man, while you're at it, please like and subscribe to this video. Ending eight of twelve. Seriously weird. Okay, so this room's just use useful only in getting one of the 12 endings. Don't get me wrong, I'm trying to get all the endings, so that's kind of cool, but not what I need right now. Hate you.
because it actually looks good. Tick tock, tick tock, how many clocks? How many clocks since you entered the Tower of Clocks? Consider sta the standing ones and the ones on the walls too, but be careful. The one on the moon doesn't count. No more than 40, no less than 20. The answer was 26. The answer was 26. Something open. I'm assuming it's past you. Holy Rosary. Yeah, it was. Oh god, now I gotta go all the way back. Let's get to finishing this. We have two more bosses to go and we've got this. So I'm assuming that all of these bosses, these guardians, are references to other games the, the developers made. But I don't think I've ever seen this. Today's activity, activities, cannibalism, cannibalism, cannibalism. Great. Quick save, because I don't trust this. Things seem very quiet. Hindergast Mansion. Hindergast. It sounds familiar. Holy, holy shotgun! I don't know you. Yeah, I don't know you. Okay, I still gotta get closer to the shotgun to work apparently. Oops. Wow, he uh ate everything but my cake. Alright then. Okay, he was the easiest out of all. Appreciate. To be honest, like, a man can only have so much cake before getting bored of cake. to find my patients except for that annoying girl in the pink dress. Who's the annoying girl in the pink dress? But that's not important. You still need surgery. No, I don't need surgery. You have any idea of how many patients told me that before I drew their skulls? Here's a hint. I stopped counting. <laughs> Do you know what insanity feels like? It feels like freedom. You're disgusting. You're disgusting. No more running, Alyssa. Now be a good girl and stand still while I drill through your frontal lobe. That doesn't even work like a drill or look like a drill. Dr. Zalametti might be dead, but Nurse Helga will always be here for you. 
Your surgery begins now. Nope. 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 God damn it. It's surgery time! <laughs> is this is the same as before. Holy crap! Yeah, no, it wasn't. Hate that noise, by the way. Just right back to it. Nope. Stop running, Alyssa! No! Please don't leave! Come back, Alyssa! I promise I'll use anesthesia! Or maybe not. <laughs> Whatever you say, crazy lady. I've got bigger fish to fry. Caveman! Caveman wife. Me strong, me waifu, me pretty, me kawaii. Hello, Quad. Hello, Caveman Waifu. Come with me. Help me save this world. The world we live in. It's me to reach Sagarakato's dream. He talks to the countless powerful entity in the universe and fill everything with horror and sadness. He makes our world with the horror world. Don't worry. I have something to put him to sleep. Something I got from his sister. But we don't have time for that right now. Warning, your choice will determine the ending you get. Only one of them is considered canon. I'm sorry, Mr. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry, Miss Ball. But, actually, yeah, no. Phantom. You know what? We should get out of here. We need to get out of here. Yes, yes, let's go. We need to get out of here before he comes. He probably found out to kill his generals. And now he must be really angry. Anyways, let's get out of here before Mr. Alfred comes back. We did it! You know what? This new Twister world isn't so bad. We'll just hide for Mr. Alfred. We can finally have some peace. We'll have to hide until we die. <laughs> you sound so happy about it. But it's better than facing him. We'll need to find a new home. He won't find us as long as we keep the bunny amulet. Yes, yes. That's adorable. And so Elisa and Greta lived hidden from Mr. Alfred. Their new post-apocalyptic life was really boring and soon enough their relationship began to crumble. All they did was stay in their apartment hidden watching the 
furniture. Jokes weren't funny anymore. Gazes weren't full of love anymore. Romance was wearing off. But still, after they went through, after all they went through, they wanted to give their relationship another chance. Were they successful? Did the spark of romance ever come back? That's up to you to decide. Ending 10 of 12. Look, I've seen the future, and if we run from this, literally everything is awful. You and me just hate each other. Let's, we we must face it. Mr. Alfred. I must face Mr. Alfred and stop him. Alyssa, I was scared of never seeing you again. It's okay, Greta. Everything will be fine. Everything is awesome. If anything happens... I just want to let you know that you're the most important person to me in this world. And no matter where or how, I will always wait for you. I know, Greta. You're the most important person to me, too. But we don't have time for that right now. I must face Mr. Alfred and stop him. Oh, are you gonna do the whole, like, breaking of reality thing now? Alyssa! No! Greta! You're not gonna get away with this. Blood on the floor. Some might say blood on the dance floor. Wait, there's an exit? Wait. Rango Tango. It's all right, Marissa. Wait. Join him. Mr. Alfred, please let me join you. Join me? Why? I'll do anything for Greta. I see. Oh, interesting. I guess I could use some new servants. Mr. Alfred used Greta in a ritual to reach Sargothel's chain uh, Sargothel's slumber. Mr. Alfred surprised him and killed him, becoming the most powerful entity in the universe. Lisa and Greta became Mr. Alfred's slaves, and they were granted eternal life. They accompanied him in his journey to fill every universe with horror. An eternity of sadness, a sea of horror. Is that what you really wanted to see? Ending 11 and 12. Alright. Now. Now. Now it's time to Rango Tango. Mr. Alfred, I will stop you. Rango Tango. Who is an ass? What is an ass? I know you spinal farts. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you parodying the what is what is a man from Castlevania? What is a man but a But enough ass. Have us you. Have us you? God damn it. God damn it. Come on, Elisa. Use the power of your huge ass! Mr. Alfred appears, you Z or enter attack him with your ass. What? A house for Lisa. A house for Lisa. He hit me with a how. 
house. To the face. <laughs> Final round, dude. Final round. Let's go. Give me that true ending. Holy crap, wait, what? I wasn't expecting a round two. gave it to me. Lisa places the bunny amulet on Mr. Alfred's neck while he's weak. Never mess with a social worker. No. I don't want to sleep again. Sweet dreams. Tell Bob I said hi. Greta. Are you okay? Alyssa. Wait, what? Who killed her? Greta. What? <laughs> One last gift before I go back to my slug. Dude, you suck. You were gone! Goodbye forever, Alice. Ending is the Mario treatment. We save the world and don't get the girl by the end of it. That's cold. That hurts a lot, man. That hurts bad. Lisa was alone. Greta was Lisa's biggest love, and the impact of her death left Lisa devastated. However, Lisa also knew that Greta would have wanted her to move on and be happy, live her life to the fullest. Lisa eventually resumed her work as a social worker and moved back to the city. The death of Greta was a wound that would never heal. But with every new day, it would hurt a little bit less. A few years after the death of Greta, Lissa met someone new, a beautiful person named Few. They began dating, they fell in love, they began a relationship, and eventually got married. Then some months later... Uh... 
changelings take no responsibility for that child pregnancy. Elisa lived a happy life, and she even had grandchildren. Then one day, she was diagnosed with terminal illness, and she eventually passed away. However, death is just another beginning. What? Hi, Elisa. Remember us? Thanks to you, we are free now. Our names are Alex and Thomas. Thomas. We never harmed animals. That was a lie made up by our parents. They hated us. And we, we never, never liked, liked Mr. Bob either. either. Being a monster, Being a monster under, under his control was a nightmare. nightmare. But after, after you put you him, put to, him sleep, to sleep, our souls our became souls free. free. Thank you, Thank Alyssa. You, Alyssa. We're, sorry We're sorry for everything. For everything. She became a ballerina after all. Alyssa, I waited for so long. Greta, we'll always be together now. Ending 12 of 12, happiness, can an ending. Huh. Hey man, at least I got all the endings. Though, <laughs> um, again, I take no responsibility for the fact that she got pregnant by the end. Lisa, shake your cake. Lyrics and vocals by eight. Yeah, figures. <laughs> Vanessa. My grandma Alyssa was a social worker who battled demons. She told me to be ready for the one called Mr. Bob. He'll wake up soon. And I'll be waiting for him. God damn. So the child's gotta take on Mr. Bob because she's the next generation. Interesting. Alright, so, that was a house for Elisa 3. 
That is the last in the series for now. God, I hope so. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Appreciate you guys for sticking this long. Hope to see you in the next one. Later.